Hi guys, this is me, Riyazul Hassan. Uh, sometimes the name is too hard. You can even call me Yul, like a short version of my name, which is easy. So let's start my share my screen with you guys. And from there we can. All right, can you see the screen clear and nice? You can show your thumbs up like this. Yes, we can say it or not. Ah, perfect. You know, since I'm in Korea, it has always been a question to me, what is our And I'm 200% sure, not even 100%, that you all have the same questions. What is that and why we are here? You all have Aaron, it's, it's called urban planning. The same thing in some part of the world, people call it, urban planning, urban planning, because the city that where we live, like some of you are now joining me from Seoul, some of you are from maybe Incheon, some are from some other countries even, we live in a city, and how can we make our city a better place? Like with trees, with beautiful houses, white roads, and we design those. That's called urban planning. And some part of the world, they call it urban engineering. Why planning, why engineering? Because some cities, we use high technology. For like some do as a smart city, we use technologies as a solution. We use heavy construction material for making a city, making the roads, beaches. So mostly the European, they call it urban planning. On the contrary, Asian and some South Asian countries, they call it urban engineering, like Japan, China. So. What we are doing, then, and why we call urban ecology? Because we are both of them. In here, we learn how can you bring the environment in planning and how can you bring the technology and engineering in urban planning. That's why we call it urban ecology. Environment, planning, and engineering all together, making our city better. So urban ecology doesn't mean that Oh, do I have to learn all the biologies? Like who is doing what, all the species? No. Do I have to learn all the planning and engineering factor? No. But we need to learn a combination to make our life a better place. And that's why I choose the title. We'll go talk more about the title. So just a quick explanation, because urban planning is a very popular and very popular subject in Korea because many of the Korean cities are very well planned. Like Seoul is going to make one of the world-class city. Hangzhou is one of the world's the smartest city. So urban planning is a very popular one. Urban ecology is nothing but urban planning. If you think urban planning and engineering, there are two major steps. Doing it on the road, like called physical planning, making houses, making trees, roads, real lines, those are called physical. And then other part is environment, like making the parks, playgrounds, open space, trees that can make our city environment of it. And these two together do at the same time, that's called as urban ecological planning or urban eco. So guys, do get a little bit idea of this urban ecology is, Urban ecology is planning something with the environment and technology together. We are not 100% engineer. We are not 100% planner. We are not 100% biologist, but we are hybrid who can handle all the field together at the same time. That's why I choose the title for you. No urban ecology, know yourself. You can ask me why know yourself. Okay, let's watch some movies. Movie, let's watch some pictures. I'll show you some pictures and you have to say what picture is that, right? What is this? Can anybody tell me what picture you're seeing now? No, not this one, not Minion. I'm not asking about the Minion. This is all the buildings. Yes, right. Perfect. All the buildings. That's the city that we live, right? All the buildings. Next picture. This is also city. All the industries that we need for the city, for our economy. 
all the industries. Next pictures. Going to the soul, traffic congestion, cars and cars and cars. And this is I love soul, the air pollution. You can't even see it so very clearly. Not long ago, it's a few days back. That was the pollution. And we all are in this phase now. Everywhere you go, put a mask. Kids or adult. Now you ask yourself, and the art is asking you, help. And now you ask yourself, what do you want to leave? Yeah, I know some of you want to be an engineer. Perfect. Some of you want to be a psychologist, fascinating. Some of you want to be a filmmaker, excellent. But then why are you going to leave? Why do you want to leave? You want to live in a place where the art is begging help every moment that we are not in a good shape. Make it a better place to live for all of us. And that's what I choose. Know yourself. If you know where you want to live. Yeah, I'm a super qualified engineer, but place I live, where there is no place to breathe. I'm a super qualified psychologist, but the place I have to go to work four hours by driving. Does it make a sense to live? So now you ask yourself, know yourself, why do you want to live? That's what you know. Once you know that I want to live in a better place, better living, that's it. You know what this urban ecology is. Then you can join the urban ecology program because you know it. And you know to help your art but it belongs to. Because we have only one art. Remember, we don't have any more art. If it needs help, we have to. Let's go. So urban ecology connects the environment in a very simple way with life to make a better living. So what do you do in urban ecology? We learn to connect our human living, our cities, with the environment, make it better living. So, who are we and who is teaching here? If you are here in urban ecology, if you are here in QSC or any other discipline, even urban ecology, you'll find me. Rezul Hassan, my name. So I've already been introduced. I'm an Australian and I've been traveling in so many countries. I've been teaching for the last 12 years in many countries. And can I say, share a secret with you guys? Korea is my 22nd country. I've been visited that many countries and I've been teaching um, seven universities in nine countries. So I teach in Australia before I coming here. I teach in UK, Thailand, Malaysia, Bangladesh, Singapore, now Korea. I used to work in Japan, uh, Greece. What else? I can't remember many of the countries though. I'm an Australian and now here. So I teach mostly the four courses on the program coordinator. And then Alberto, Professor Alberto is in Spanish. And Alberto is an architect as well. So Alberto handles the designing of course. So there are two courses, planning and design. So planning, what we can do and how can we make it? Design courses is handled by Alberto. He's in Spanish. And I'm in hybrid as well, Australian and Many other places, I teach more. So there we are. And for us, the door is always open. When you are here, you can always visit me and Alberto without any hesitation. You don't need any permission. You don't need any appointment. Our room, that's our policy in our call. Because the environment never closed the door to our people. So being a teacher of the environment and planning, how should I close my door for my students? That's the philosophy me and Alberto hold. Our door always open. So let's know a little bit of background knowledge, high school knowledge. You all ready? What is urban ecology you can teach here, learn here? Okay, warm up, high school knowledge. So first we learn a little bit of ecosystem. So ecosystems. Ecosystem means the, all the living things you see in the world in an environment. Just take the park next to your home. What you can see in your park? You see trees, you see birds, you see ants, you see frogs and people, right? So they all use the same park. The frog use the park for their living and food. The ants also live in the same park and food. We use the same park for fresh air and healthy life. So that's all together, we call ourselves an ecosystem. All the trees and plants and ants got the energy from the sun. So all the living things 
and their relation with the environment called ecosystem. And then what does ecology means then? Ecology means all the living organism and their relation to each other. Ecosystem is all the living things and the relation with environment. And ecology is all the living things and their relation, like my relation with you. Now I am teaching, you are listening. So if you are not there, there's no point of me for teaching. And if I am not here, there is no point of you to be here to learn or listen. You and me are now is in relationship. That's called ecology. So all the living things, like those who have life, and that's a nice picture I paint here. See, we go to the sea beach, related with sea girl, all the birds, all the bacteria, virus, trees, we all are connected. The relationship between all the living things called ecology. So put the whole thing, small things, one thing, ecosystem ecology in one plate. So when our relationship between all other living things, like your relation with your cat or your relationship with the dog, and your bird, your mom, your, so all our relationship and how we are connected with our local environment. We live, the places we go to school, the places we meet our friends, the cafe we go, dinner. So all relationship we make. That's two together with the planning and engineering design called urban ecology. How to make our our needs and seek a better place for everyone, not only for me, but for my dog too. Not only for me, the bird I see every morning on my window, for him too. So that is urban ecology. So hope I give you some idea, a little bit of urban ecology idea. And then there's another term it's always known called biodiversity. So bio means all the living things. Who has a heart? Do you guys have heart? Can you put your hand on the left side? On your arm, chest? It is big. Can you heart something noise? Like dig, 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 dig. That's called heart. So those who have heart, they are known as bio. I mean, those who have life, known as bio. And then diversity means how many of them. So look at in a city, how many species live in a city? Is a city is only for us, only human and birds? No, there are birds, all other kind of species, bees, like you name it, flowers, trees. Now, this is the first time you live in Korea. You can see plenty of birds, plenty of flowers. They all are living things. They call diversity. That's the known of biodiversity. We have to make that where we can all this can have equal chance to live. There are many cities in the world never find a flower because so many houses. There are many cities in the world you don't find a breathing space like in India and Mumbai because there's so many people and so polluted. And that's because the whole of the world it's making our life a big deal. It's making the whole world so hot. It's just summer and now it feels so hot. So that's why we ensure or design a city that could minimize the climate change, minimize the health living, and all the living things have equal chance to live. And all the living things in a city known as biodiversity. Okay, so this is not a like, whole class. This is the best idea from a high school memories. Now, definitely, you can ask me, like, so do we really need the environment? Do we really need to care that much? I mean, you sure? Yeah, you can ask me this question that why we need to care? Think one by one. How many of you get coffee this morning? Can you show me your thumbs up that, yes, I had my coffee already? Do you have coffee in the morning, guys? Okay, no coffees. Do you have water in the morning? Glass of water, everyone? I'm sure everyone. Why do you get the water? From the nature. Fresh water comes from the nature. Now the very serious questions. Are you listening everyone? Very serious question. Did you breathe this morning, any of you? Like take a breath. 
we breathe every second, right? Every second. What do you breathe? We breathe oxygen, fresh air. So air comes from where? The nature. Nature purify the air. Nature purify the water. The honeybees make the honey and that we have with the breakfast. We get the bait from the field. That's called provisional service. That's without those who can't survive. It's known as provision, like air, water, food. We can't survive without this. Without air, without breathing, you can survive maximum three minutes. Without water, you can survive maximum three days. And without food, you can survive maximum one month. And that's it, the whole art will die. So this thing's called provision. And it all comes from the nature. So nature gives us the provision, everyday living. Then called a regulation, like the climate change. We have winter, we have summer, we have spring, autumn. Who maintain this? Do we maintain it? When the cherry will come, when rain will come, nature maintain it. And then the pollination, how the flowers become fruit. So that's called a regulation service, nature control. And then culture, recreation. Remember, we go outside, we go outside in the park, play with our friends, we feel great. We go hiking, we go camping with the families, get a real, we get rejuvenated that yes, we did something great. We go hiking, biking, culture. Why do you go for hiking and biking? In the nature. Why do you go to relax with our friends? In a park. So the nature has three things. Provision, food and everything that you got. Population, control the sunrise, climate, weather. Culture for our mental health. And also you got all our medicine and our beauty products so that you look good and cool, organic beauty product from nature. So that called all the services that come from it. If we don't protect it, we don't plan it nicely. If we don't design it nicely, then we lose it. One day there'll be no fresh air. If we have the climate change, no breathing fresh air. If we pollute so much water, there'll be no drinking water. If we kill the bees, there'll be no honey next day in your morning. If we cut all the trees, there'll be no park to go and sit with the friend. If we cover all the river water, there will be no places to go hiking or camping or fishing. So that is the responsibility. How can we design a better city that we can dance with nature, that can give us? We need nature. Nature doesn't really need us. So how can we make the nature can we make the best and do for it? And that's what the lesson we learn, we practice, we design in urban ecology. Right, guys? So, what is now the definition of urban ecology? It's a clear, there are thousands of definitions. I just make it a little one for you. So, the study of ecosystem that include humans living in the cities. So, the study of ecosystem, like the trees, animals, food, stuff, all things within in an urban area. That is so we need to learn what are the environment in an urban area, how can you design it, how can you put it. So that's the, and perhaps you have seen this image many, many times. Any of, any of you have seen this image? This is sustainable development goal. There are 17 major targets that by 2030, we make our city where nobody will die for food, no hunger. There'll be no poverty. There'll no see any poor people. Still will see poor people in all over the world. Those who are living in Seoul, have you ever been to Seoul Central Station? If you go in the morning, there are so many people sleeping outside of the Seoul Central Station because they don't have home. So you need to make a city where everybody can have home. We make a city, there's no climate change and justice and peace and everybody get an equal opportunity. Girls and boys, everybody gets a chance to get a better job, better health. So that's all 17 targets that we need to fulfill to make our city better. And how can we do it? That's the planning. How to fulfill it? That's the engineering. So that planning, that engineering together, we did in urban ecology. So now, urban ecology, what we learned really, we learned design. 
a very quick idea. We'll and design how to design our city a better place, like this one. How all the parks connected to each other, how the road could be more green, how the roads could be more safe. And we also learn planning, like how to make a city better. Anybody know which side is this one? Who are from Seoul here? Who are from Seoul? Okay. Do you know which area is this one? This is Changecheon. Yeah, right. Your, your perfect is this Changecheon. This is the plan. Changecheon was a river long, long ago in Han Dynasty. Then we covered this river and make it a heavy city highway. But in 2004, the city, Seoul City Corporation, ran it again and bring this old river back right inside the city. Make the city beautiful and beautiful. In an urban ecology, we learn, we change, and we change. Change for a better life. And now, definitely, you'll have these questions. All right. I want to be an engineer, but then I like urban ecology, so why can I get a job? I totally agree with you. Yes, that should be the question. As a student, why is my job? If I have answered it shortly, the whole world is yours. Urban ecology doesn't do the job only in that country because the whole world needs the environment. The whole world needs a better living place. They hire everywhere. Urban ecology everywhere in the world. Environmental policy planet. In the local government, you can work. You can work in the Korean government. Biodiversity education, like all these species. Community gardening urban design, urban farming. So every sector, government, construction, business, even the coffee business. Because we all say fair trade, green business. Who designed the green business? What's come from the nature? Urban ecologist. So even if you want to be a fashion designer, these days the trade is green fashion, sustainable fashion. And they hire the urban ecologist to say, where can I get green clothes, green product, make a green fashion. So you name it, anywhere you can get a job. And then all over the future job market, environmental and sustainability planning, architecture, local government, public policy. There are thousands of options. Now, let me tell you about Korean market. Some of you said, okay, so the jobs mostly in the US, Australia, but then also about Korea. Here you are. The Korean government introduced Korean New Green Deal. The Korean President Moon has declared by 2050, the, in, he has declared in July 14, 2020, last year, Korea is going to invest 140, 14 trillion USD. I uh, know 140 uh, US, 94.5 billion US dollar to make the whole Korea as a green Korea. By 2035, there'll be no car using petrol. Then he declared, but this one, by 2025, there will be 1.9 million new jobs in Korea. 1.9 million. How many? 1.9 million new jobs in Korea. And all those jobs would be based on green things. Green economy, green buildings, green energy, green technology. Everything is environment focused. Out of this 1.9 million, if you don't get a job, who will get a job then? So it's on Korea itself creating urban ecology jobs for 1.9 million, and which has already been declared, and the President Moon already signed it. So I'm not saying that urban ecology is limited within Korea. It's all over the world. Or even I'm not saying you have to pass it and get the job other side of the world. But even in Korea, so think the world is open the door for you. You are no more a Korean citizen. After this graduation, you'll be a global citizen. Anywhere in the world, a place to work, learn, and play. And take an example of me. Me and Albert, we are from two different countries now in Korea. So that's how things are going on in urban ecology. And these are some of the examples of my students. So, uh, they are all these three students. There are six. 
they got an international award. They present at international conferences and got the international present best presentation award. So it's not limited within Korea. They join the international level. They join a conference in New York. You can read it in Korean a little bit. It's a Korean newspaper. And they are like superstar. They're in the newspaper art. They don't come in the departmental photography. They are in the newspaper. So I cut it from the newspaper. So they got an international award. She's in now Salt Lake. She joined GGGI, Global Green Growth Institute, one of the uplifting green organizations in the world. The headquarter is in Seoul. Dr. Ban Ki Moon is the chairman of that one. So my students are now spreading all over the world. International organization. Two of my students are here: Chan Bin Lee and Blair Yoon Ji Hwen. Both of them are now working for Global Green Growth Institute (GGGI) as an intern. That's a paid intern. They are not working for free intern. They are paying them salaries because they are working on climate change and planning practice. So the opening is already before graduating, they are getting salary. So there are thousands of opportunities coming all over the world. And if you don't believe me, because I am here in Korea, listen from the head of the department from Salt Lake City, Professor Stacy Anna. I asked Stacy, and Stacy gave a small voice for you guys only. Uh, let me know if you can hear my share the computer voice. Okay, she had the sound. Okay. You. Hello from Salt Lake City, Utah. My name's uh, Stacy Harwood. I'm a professor and chair of the City of Metropolitan Planning Department at the University of Utah. And we are very excited to know that you're interested in our urban ecology program. Our department aims oh. to inspire students. Um, we want them to be empathetically rooted, to think ecologically and to act in ways that promote justice and equity. Um, all the faculty and the students in the department are very engaged in the local community um, through applied research, community-based learning, and internships. Um, additionally, we have a really nice uh, relationship with our local practitioners. Many of them teach in our department, and they teach some of our popular elective classes, such as Introduction to Transportation Planning, um, planning for biking and walking, ur urban design, and many other classes. So we're looking forward to meeting Utah Asia Campus students here in Salt Lake City. So that's the thing, that when you go back in Salt Lake, because that's the program, three years in here, for final year in Salt Lake. And there you could have a chance to meet with the local community, with American experience with the local planning authorities. Imagine you have American experience, you have Korean experiences, you know both the languages, and you come back to Korea, there'll be no one better than you to get a job because you have all the experiences. And now I'm almost at the end of this presentation. The urban ecology, I'm going to say a very exciting news that urban ecology has four plus one program. There's no other program in USA has it. What is a four plus one? Four plus one program that Four years is bachelor in our science in urban ecology, and last one year is master's in city and metropolitan planning. Within four plus one, five years, you'll get two degrees. Not one, but two. Bachelor of science in urban ecology and master's in city and metropolitan planning. When many of your friends and colleagues are still looking for internship after their bachelor degree, by this time you have two degrees. You graduate postgraduate in five years time and that means you can three years in USC, two years in USA, three years in Korea, two years in U USA. When you work study two years in USA, you'll get three years working permit in America. In the USA you got a working permit for three years. So you can improve your English, you can improve your experiences and with American experiences with improving English, when you come back here, that nobody can stop you to get a better position. Nobody can stop you to get a living position in Korea or anywhere in the world. So let me explain the four plus one a little more. Our traditional program is like that. 
Bachelor of Science in Urban Ecology is three years here in Asia campus. This is three years in here in Asia campus. This three years, and it's little here. So these three years, you have seen these three years for everyone here, for every program, every discipline, online media art, communication, engineering, these three years in Asia campus. And then at the final year, they all move to Saudi. One year they complete here, this one year. This is three years, one year they complete that. And they got the degree, BSc degree, Bachelor of Science in Urban Ecology, Bachelor of Science in Communication, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Bachelor of Science in Film and Media Arts, so three and one. But then Urban Ecology students, they got extra one year to stay there. They got extra one year to study. And that one year is one plus three, four, one. That one year is master's program. That the city and metropolitan program. Because our whole department, University of Salt Lake, known as Department of City and Metropolitan Planning. So that one year is your master's program. And interesting fact is that if you want to be enrolled in master's program in the USA, you need to sit for GRE. You need to sit for high tuition fees. And there are so many other tests, English qualification. But when you are an urban ecology student, you don't need to go any of them. You are automatically enrolled from here to here. If you get a good GPA, you're automatically enrolled. If you have a good GPA and if you want to do that. So after five years, you have not one degree, one urban ecology. Masters of Science, teach and metropolitan plan. You know both environment, you know both planning, you have some idea of engineering. Now you tell me who's gonna stop you to work. You don't stop yourself. If you said, I don't want to work, I have to sleep, then nobody can help. I have two degrees, experience in the US. I knew Korean, I knew English very well. Now who's gonna stop me? So welcome to Urban Ecology, to know yourself and know all your potential. Nobody can stop you, you don't. Thank you guys, that's all of my lecture today. I hope I got this you. Thank you so very much. All right, thank you. Thank you, Razul, for such an um, amazing lecture. So from now on, we're gonna have a Q&A session. So if there is any question for uh, regarding Urban Ecology or uh, studying at um, Asia campus, Please ask questions. Don't be shy. Um, no. We also have already submitted some questions from our um, students. So uh, some of them ask, uh, what subject do students learn in this department? OK, there are variety of subjects you learn basic planning, like how we can plan an urban area. Number one, you learn the research method, like how to do a research to know the environment and the planning relation better. You will learn design ecology, like how to design in the environment. And at the same time, you will have a course on architecture and a design class so you can have your, those are passionate about designing better things at courses. We will learn sustainable development and planning practices. So there are a variety of courses, at least 90 credit you have to complete it here. And we have most of the courses are related to the field trips. So we have chances to explore outside. Most of our courses are not only inside the class. So there are like here a lot of training, not there is no biology courses. I'm not saying there is a, Pure biology course. Oh, I never read biology. What can I do? No, 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 no. Whatever the courses are, like that can integrate you with any little bit of engineering. Like how can you design in green city? How can you design in green, green building? So a little bit of engineering, a little bit of biology, a lot of planning, a lot of environment together make you a part in urban Right. Another question we got was, what kind of career path can I take? Okay. I said it in my presentation, but once again, this depends what, because once you're bachelor in urban ecology, and if you do the four plus one program, you can work 
whatever you want. So for example, you're interested in designing a better city. So you can choose a career path in the local government, like in uh, Songdong, Songdong or Yonsu Group City Council, or even work for the Seoul City Council for making a better city. All right, I'm not interested in any. You're interested in fashion and design. Then you can work for the urban design companies who make a city design, like those who design the Changchun, those of the design and architecture company you can work. Okay, I want to be a masses communicator. That is your hidden interest. So you can be environmental provoker, like who can write, who can write and communicate messages how environment is important for city planning. You can write on it. You can be a communicator. Even I sold, if you want to be, I want to be in a fashion designing. Okay, I want to be in K-pop, right? I like Korea and I love K-pop. I want to develop my career of urban ecology in K-pop. Yes, you can. Because K-pop is moving towards promoting the green everywhere. And the K-pop singers, they don't have any green idea. So they hire experts like you to give them the ideas of how K-pop could be more green preparation. How the... Uh, uh, Korean band, bo boys band can be more fashionable from the green perspective. All the green business, green coffee, green food, organic food, all everywhere the urban ecology. So that's what I said, like, you can choose your way where you can do it for. And that's totally follow your passion. The urban ecology is the best thing that you don't have to follow the rule of the government, but the, your passion, where you want to work. So career path is completely dependent on you. This could be private, government, non-government. You can choose that. Okay. Um, does UAC uh, offer any internship programs? Yes. The plenty of internship programs. Two of my students are already working as a paid intern with Global Green Growth Institute. There are lots of internships in Green Climate Fund, Global Green Growth Institute and many other organizations that are working as an intern. And also USC and Urban Ecology Department has many of researchers but work as an intern. And that internship gives you experiences, give you credit, and that experience and credit, you can use it for your future career and for your course as well. USC offer a lot of internship here. Even you can get internship outside the country. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? Guys, you can ask me as many as you want because that's your future. You have to shape it up. If you are a Korean speaker, please put questions in Korean so that I can translate into English as yeah. well. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. I don't mind curiosity though. Rizal, why did you choose yes. urban ecology to teach? Ah, that's, you asked me the tough question. Uh, I was a pure urban planner, like being the mathematics and modeling. And then my piece was about how the climate change is causing impact for the poor communities in the coastal area. And when I learned this one, when I'm doing my PhD, it's long ago in 2013, 14, 11, 12, 13. So the climate change caused a big problem for the poor communities living in the coastal areas, especially the uh, cyclone Hurricane Katrina, like 300, 300 million people get displaced. 300,000 people get displaced. They lost their home. They lost their jobs and everything in one night. And then I think, like, who are challenging this one? Who are doing this one background? And these 300,000 people, they're like innocent, poor people living everyday life. And I'm am, am one of those communities whose house is going to underwater due to climate change. So then I start learning and then, like, we can make this. If we can start Planning is better, chances to make difference. And that led me to teach urban ecology. And that helped me, that forced me to teach the young like you, because I'm old enough. I cannot do much 
Now it's your responsibility. You can do much. You're young. That's why I come to teach the young students that when I'm not here, you will take the lead. We can make this world a better place for everyone. 